to create your guitar tone? Oh, <laughs> that's like I don't know. You know what the I, I gotta say when I was like 10 years old though, the first time I heard eruption. Yeah. I think think for a lot of people, you know, I didn't understand because I was young and I didn't understand. Like, you know, I always thought that guitar was a, such a traditional instrument. Yeah, yeah. But when I was when I heard the eruption, I think that's that right. was like the craziest, most like beautiful thing I ever heard, and I didn't know what it was. Yeah. So from there, it was like I gotta know more about you know effects and amps and guitars, and then I started getting into like Black Sabbath and Tony yeah. Iommi and his guitar tones, and and I think through the years that's how I sort of. You know, just basically you take all your, your inspiration and, you know, through the years and, and sort of blend your own what you like and what you don't like. So do you describe yourself as like a, a, a gear nerd or...? Um, you, a little bit. A, a mild gear nerd. Yeah. You know, this is, this, what we've done today with the, the tone print is, is pretty advanced for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I would like to keep everything, you know, analog and, and sort of, so this is, this pedal is probably a perfect combination of crossing the two worlds together yeah. for me. Like you have the uh, quick to Yeah, this has become, a, you know, we sort of went through a lot of different amps. Um, when we were on the first couple of corn records. These are really road worthy, but I do have a Marshall at home that yeah. I love from 1969. Yeah. And it's just, I have an old straight tweed cabinet that sounds really yeah. amazing. And it's like that old birchwood yeah. uh, cabinet that they, they don't make in like that anymore. So. Right it's, it's crazy. <laughs> it's, it's pretty crazy. What kind of uh, effects do you use? Like so I like stage? to combine like um, I like to combine like the, you know delays with choruses and and um, different uh, a flanger a wah like the staples. You know I gotta have a, a clean and dirty like every guitar player and a whammy pedal uh, a wah wah and I think. You know, if I had to go, if I needed three important pedals yeah. in, in my sound, it'd be a clean and dirty channel, a, a wah wah, and a a whammy pedal. Yeah, yeah. Those would be the like the basics. Yeah, because I could get away with you know sort of yeah with the choruses cool. and stuff. It's just kind of like sparkle on top. Yeah, like icing. Uh, yeah, yeah, sort of icing. But those yeah. those three pedals would be I, I would need them. Yeah. Do you do you work on on developing your tone, or is it like uh, you're settled down now and you, you know exactly what uh, kind of effects you want to use, or is it something that you play with? I, I think it's something that happens for me in the studio. Yeah. When we're creating records and stuff, and there's time to uh, time to sit with the pedal, but it's something you know we're creating sounds, and that sound is documented. Yeah. We take photos of the amp settings and the pedal settings, oh. and we write it all down. The engineer, yeah, he writes everything down, and then I, two months, three months later, I'm like, dude, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> you create the songs in, in the studio? Or? Yeah, we usually create them in the studio then, or, or sometimes you know, Jonathan has a writing rig, and, and we'll sort of kind of jam with some drum beats and stuff, oh, yeah. and then um, I just sort of. And then we take those ideas and take them back into the studio and yeah. sort of bounce them around between everybody while everybody's in the same room. Yeah. And then uh, just kind of start to build off of that. And um, But usually, you know, the song's done and then Jonathan comes in with the melodies and the lyrics after that. So it's like it's the rhythmic section before any... Uh, yes, or, yeah. yeah. Yeah, before the melodies, we make sure that the rhythms are pounding. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, it has that backbone. I think that's what Korn has always had, like that strong driving, you know, rhythm. Yeah. And that's probably why, because that's where it's, it all starts from. Yeah. You know, a lot of people start with the melodies or the lyrics first. Yeah. For us, it's always just working. It's just from, like more the beat. Yeah, the, the pounding, like. Yeah. Well, I think that was, uh, that was it from uh, Copenhagen. Copenhagen, Denmark. <laughs>